What's up, YouTube? This is JB Panther back with a video. And today's video is actually a Spider Man uh, box office uh, update video. Again, I will link the article in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. So, if you guys don't know, right, it made Spider Man No Way Home, right? I'll try to break it down the best way I can. So, domestically, it made $253 million domestically, and it's the third highest grossing film of, uh, of all time domestically. And then it made $587 million, uh worldwide. And also it's now, it, you know, until we get the, you know, this is the estimates right now. So until we get the final exact number, it'll probably be a lot higher tomorrow until we get the official, official numbers from every uh, theater around the world and country and stuff like that. It's no Way Home is the top 10 highest grossing a global opening of all time uh, with 587.2 million and the only thing that's behind the only thing that beats it is infinity war 640.5 million and endgame with 1.22 billion dollar worldwide that's crazy man that's really 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 good that's insane man but it just shows you man this spider-man got the juice man it's just like spider-man's goaded obviously and this is during a pandemic. This is why it's such a big, big deal. Because if this is a normal time, I think it'll be a big deal. But I don't think it's a big deal like this because this is a, during all the carnage and hell we're going through right now. And also, you got to realize that there's still lockdowns around other countries and even in other states. They have restrictions and stuff like that. So it's a bigger, bigger deal than normal. And it talks about how it's crushing at the box office, the COVID era, stuff like that. And again, you guys can read the whole entire thing, but there's a lot of commentary I want to talk about this. It just shows you that if you put out a good movie, a good story, people will show up. Obviously, you guys already know who shows up. The three, you know, I won't say the names, but um, when they show up, it changes everything. And I'm very, very happy that this movie made a bunch of money and also destroys the whole COVID narrative because all these executive, uh, all these media people and all these box office days, all they've been doing is giving multiple excuses on why these movies keep flopping and no one wants to see it because of COVID and stuff like that. This just shows you, you could drop all, uh, it just shows you could drop a movie like Spider-Man. It's, it's going to hit a billion dollars. Now there's talks about it possibly hitting two billion dollars. I think that's uh, that's way too far. I just say a billion is more realistic. And if you look at the like, the the weekend box office for this whole entire thing, it literally just destroyed every single movie this whole entire week. It's insane, man. You can look at how many theater counts they lost and stuff like that. And then next week, you gotta realize is that you're gonna have other movies coming out. And that's going to, Spider Man's just going to obliterate that like crazy because everybody wants to see Spider Man. No one's even talking about the Matrix. It's kind of crazy. No one even cares about the Matrix. But it is what it is. But I'm very, very satisfied with this movie. And it kind of shows you that, you know, Demon Slayer and Spider Man are the movies to save cinema because, you know, Demon Slayer became the highest grossing film of 2020. Now Spider Man's going to become the highest grossing film of 2021. And also, this is a big deal because. This is an American comic book movie franchise to do it. And I'm very happy, you know, for it. Don't get it wrong. I'm happy for Demon Slayer with Japan and stuff like that. They got theirs. South Korea, they got Squid Game. And I'm just like, man, when's one of our American French geek nerd franchises, our geeky nerdy franchises, be able to have pride in? And Spider Man is it, man. And I think it's not getting released in, like, I think the Japan, the Philippines, and a few other countries until, like, a couple of weeks from now. Uh, so I guess like it's not even released in every single international market yet. So it's crazy, man. It's just like I'm very, very proud of Spider Man, and nothing more I can say about it, man. I'm very, very proud, proud of it, and it shows you that you know uh, those two, you know, Demon Slayer and Spider Man are the ones that save cinema, and two nerd, uh, geeky properties, um, two comic book properties. You know, Demon Slayer is about. Japanese samurai and then you have spider-man which is a white guy from Queens so you know it's a big big deal you know it's just it just shows you and it just destroys everything that people been saying about COVID and stuff like that and then there's like well Shang-Chi and Black Widow Eternals have been doing very very well no they both flop Shang-Chi made like 30 million extra million dollars in profit spider-man already destroyed all of that in one weekend man so 
I don't want to hear all that. And Venom as well. I mean, Venom already got destroyed by Spider-Man. Makes no, you know, obviously. So it's a big, big deal, man. And it's a, it's a theater exclusive only. You have to go to the theaters and see it. And, you know, there's no streaming, no Disney Plus, HBO Max, none of that stuff. So it's a big, big deal. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm very, very proud of Spider-Man. I'm proud of Tom Holland. And this movie's just going to keep making money. It's going to keep bring printing money like crazy and honestly i wouldn't be surprised if they keep this movie theater this movie uh in the theaters until like march probably because it's none of that like what 45 day window we haven't heard any of that from sony yet so we'll see what happens uh spider-man i'll definitely buy it when it gets on blu-ray or you know on demand and itunes and stuff like that but it's definitely a movie I'm probably going to go see again. And I do encourage you guys to go check it out because it's really, really good. And if you guys do go see Spider-Man, go during like a morning or an afternoon time. Because if you go during the nighttime, it's going to be harder to, uh, to get because so many people go during the nighttime and stuff like that. So I would recommend the morning or the afternoon time personally. So again, uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this box office. Are you guys excited for Spider-Man? Did you not see Spider-Man? Are you going to see it? Can you see it? Because I know other countries, they're in like lockdown and stuff like that, and like uh, in Europe and stuff like that, or they have really strong uh, COVID restrictions and stuff like that. So let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you, you subscribe to the channel. Peace and have a great day and take care.